After studying this module, you shall be able to know about the key gender issues in the field of research, learn about the impact of certain factors on gender differences, identify different arguments by women scholars, evaluate the existing differences between women and men, analyze the importance of gender-related factors in the field of research, key gender issues, methodology, an active debate around the issue of gender and methodology have been going on. Efforts have been made to discuss the utilization and implementation of methods. The effects of gender access in research and society with research methods using participants from different spheres of life is extensively analyzed in the literature. Many scholars argue that in Western cultures, rules make women the confidence of women and of men which gives female researcher the advantage of doing any research which involves face-to-face -face interaction. Clearly, this approach has expectations too and there are certain parts of social life in various societies from which females are clearly prohibited. Influence of class, age, marital status and race ethnicity on access and research and field relationships was studied by scholars such as Josephine Bioko, Betts and Catherine Kohler Raceman. Shared attributes of gender or race with the research subjects can be beneficial. Still, it cannot suffice for overcoming all prejudices. It is true that an insider's perspective can be helpful in researching certain phenomena and qualitative methods are sometimes perceived as less exploitative of disempowered groups because they involve intense personal interaction. Nonetheless, writers such as Josephine Bioko Betts, as Lynn Cannon, Elizabeth Higginbotham, and Marine Leong and Stacy have shown how qualitative methods can also engender issues of exclusion, misinterpretation, and exploitation. Selection techniques in qualitative methods may exclude certain sections from participation. Deep emotional bonds developed during the research could make the researcher's verdict more biased. Maxine Baca, Zinn and Patricia Zivella demonstrated that insiders can be confused between their roles as scholars and a member of the community, can sometimes be addressed by explicit efforts to engage in collective or action research, where concerns of research participants are of main concern to the research endeavor and subjects have a say in the research procedure and its conclusions. Another technique commonly used is full access to research stance personal history and relationship to participants, even if this relevation makes her or him more vulnerable and subject to critique within academia. Methods It is not easy to link methods and gender. Earlier, men dominated most academic disciplines and men were the pioneers of most research methods used in educational and social and scientific research. Even though published data may suggest that women might use qualitative methods more than men, this was not true historically. In areas like sociology and political science, women were quantitative analysts, not men, when these subjects were getting institutionalized in Western universities. Recently, Judith Stacy and Barry Thorne suggested that subjects were our most accepting of qualitative methods such as ethnographic observation and intensive interviewing. For example, anthropology have had higher feminist revolution in the content perspective than those such as economics or psychology that have not. However, it is difficult to determine the direction of such a relationship. In spite of the common trends favoring qualitative methods, the association between gender and methods cannot be described explicitly. An interesting observation is that in areas like education, where women have participated in great proportion, qualitative methods have become more common. Male scholars also use these methods from time to time. Methods are also